Hello everyone, Fed here, and welcome back to another how to build video where I should build cool stuff inside of Minecraft. And in today's video, I'm showing you guys 10 decorations you can build inside of Minecraft. Now, this video was heavily inspired on the new update that came out for the Better Together update. Mainly the fact that we can now put armor stands inside of minecarts. This still doesn't work on Xbox. It used to work on Xbox, which they never took it away. But this helps out the Better Together update because there was a problem with the armor stands. I'll go over at the end of the video if I have enough time. But I don't want this video to be 30 million years long. And of course, I'll tell you, everyone else who doesn't have to use the whole minecart trick uh, how to do theirs. It's just, it's wompy. It's wompy and weird. <laughs> so we're going to go over here from the left-hand side and work our way over to the right. So right here, we have an awesome little couch with creeper pillows. And of course, you could change out the pillows to whatever you would like to, depending on if it's a mob head or if maybe you want to use armor instead of mob heads. If you do, you're going to have to change the direction of the uh, armor stands. But basically, you can change it to whatever you'd like. Second up, we have an awesome versatile table. You can pretty much put this thing anywhere. It's really cool because you can change the colors for it. And the one thing I did with it that reminded me of, well, McDonald's. I'm not a big fan of McDonald's. I, I never really have. But if you change it to gold and red, it really just reminds me of McDonald's so much. So if I change my bottom right here to gold and I change this over here to red, don't tell me that doesn't look like a Mc, McDonald's table right there. It just so looks like McDonald's table. Third up on the list, we have a home entertainment system right here. I was just going to do this TV with the arm coming out of the wall to hold the TV up. But then I also decided just to add in the game system and all that. I've shown a video on how to do these little game systems before, like an Xbox One or a PS4. So I just decided to add it to this awesome little home entertainment system fourth up on the list We have a working cupboard and I also added in some more I did a lot of stuff with armor stands guys because I really wanted to since of this because of this update basically because of this update I really just wanted to keep doing stuff at armor stands So we have a working cupboard right here We can actually go inside of it and put food and whatever we want inside a cupboard I mean you can put whatever you want in here really it's up to you and uh, this ties into it as well I'm gonna be doing a tutorial along with that one because you can go inside of this one here as well So basically if you just don't want want to show your your chests or your minecarts with chests you can hide them in walls so no one can see anything and you can just make your house look 10 times better by hiding up your chest and adding it into like walls and decor like that next up we have a soda fountain right here so if you want to add it to let's say mcdonald's <laughs> or basically anything you want and i can also show how to change this into a coffee machine well it kind of looks like a coffee machine in case you don't want to use a soda fountain Next up, we have a cash register kind of tying along with this whole little uh, soda fountain and tables. and <laughs> Very super easy. That one's going to be a, a breeze to knock through. That one's fine. Next up, we have a wooden curio set right here where we could put our little armor stands with all our mob heads to really like show off. This, this would be good for like a kid's room or maybe a collector's room, something like that. And if you're doing this not on the Better Together update, like I said, if you can't put your armor stands inside of minecarts, it's going to look a ton, ton times better because then you don't have to worry about seeing those minecarts. But that's the only way we can do it on the Better Together update. At the end, I'll show you in just case we have enough time. Next up on the list, this one was kind of a rush job. I got to nine ideas, and I wanted ten, and I couldn't think of anything. And I just put a mob head on top of an ender rod, and it's a desk lamp. <laughs> I kind of rushed that one. I couldn't really think of anything else, but ten sounds better than nine. <laughs> Next up, we have a monster under the bed by placing an armor stand underneath your bed with a creeper head or whatever you want on top of it. It will look like there's a monster and here's a little bit of a closer version with a normal red bed right there you can actually change the distance of how far you want the monster come out. you can change the way the way it's looking and all that stuff too i thought that would be a really funny idea for a room and then last but not least we've been looking at it this entire time and that's actually lighting if you use and i don't know why that's broken up there but if you use end rods it looks like fluorescent light bulbs you can put this in warehouses you can put it inside your kitchen pretty much put it wherever fluorescent light bulbs would go so let's go ahead and get started on these tutorials like i said we're going to be working from our couch over there and actually one of my subscribers sent me a picture because when i was running out of ideas of a couch and it was so funny because i was like i did something so similar to that so i'll actually have a picture of that going up and i'll show how to build his as well because it looked really cool i believe his name was iron head wolf or wolf i'm so sorry if i got your name wrong but while i'm doing the video i tend to forget things but i'll make sure to put your picture up because it looks really good and it's really easy to build so let's go ahead and get started on this couch right here all right guys so i'm gonna try my best to fly through these as fast as possible they're none of them are that hard to build at all so it shouldn't be too big of a problem now if you are on the better together update then make sure you follow along of course i'll show other versions in case you can't put your uh armor stands inside of minecarts but what you want to start by doing on the better together update is breaking down two blocks so let's pretend this is where our couch is going let's just say this is where our couch is going so you want to break down two blocks on both sides of your couch. So this is going to be the end cap for your pillows. And then you're going to place in either an enchantment table 
or you're going to place in a what is it called what is it called where is it where is it where is it there it is <laughs> an end portal frame if you want to place that in as well next up you're going to take out any block really doesn't matter and we're going to place a rail on top of that block with a minecart on top of that and then we're just going to break the block with the minecart and let the minecart fall down there into place and you guessed it we're going to do the same thing on this side as well block rail minecart let it fall down into place Next up, we're going to go ahead and take out our armor stands, and we're going to place in our armor stands sideways towards the front. This is in case you're using creeper heads, mob heads, and things along that line. If you are not using mob heads and you want to use, let's say, a leather helmet or a plate or something like that, then make sure you just come to the backhand side and face it in backwards. But we're going to be using mob heads, so I'm going to place a block right here, face it inwards, and then place my mob head in. As you can see, it's facing inwards, and we're going to do the same thing on this side, place in my armor stand like that. It will fall into place, place in my mob head right on top of it. Now, on the Better Together update, all you have to do now is just place in a staircase this way, a staircase this way, and then go ahead and take out your pistons, place them in, place them in, and then go ahead and just send power, send power, and there you go, you're done. Now, you can go ahead and switch up your mob heads however you would like, but like I said, if you want to use a leather cap maybe and change the color of your leather cap, so you let, me go, let me go ahead and do it real quick. So, leather cap, let's say we want to change it to a, a light blue. Let's go with a light blue right here. Now, that's also a little bit different on here. Uh, the only way to dye stuff on the Better Together updates really weird. You need like a cauldron, and then we're also going to need a water bucket as well. It's kind of weird how you have to dye stuff here, but I guess it is what it is. So, boop, boop, there we go. So, uh, we're going to split cauldron, water there and die our helmet so like i said if you want to use that instead so if we get rid of that mob head we're just going to face in our armor stand backwards from the corner place it in go ahead and just place in our piston with our staircase once again and then go ahead and just send power to it like that and boom there you go now it looks like a pillow now if you're not on the better together update yours is going to be so much easier all you have to do is you know find out where your seating's going placing your armor stand sideways don't even put an under under table in or anything like that it's just a block like that like that place in your heads and then all you have to do now is just push down your uh, staircase into it so it doesn't push it over so just place your blocks right above it like that and like that and then just place a piston facing downwards into your block push it down and that's all you have to do if you're not on the better together update so let me put a piston I believe I have to go for the back side there we go and over here as well there we go and then just send power to them go there we go you cannot do this on the better together update it will break it and that's what yours should look like on pretty much any other version now i'm actually going to show my um the subscriber that sent me a picture on my twitter of what i could possibly do when i was running out of ideas and his was actually really good and uh, very easy to make as well so basically all you have to do is just find out where you want to put in your your seating and then i'm just going to break both sides like i did before break two more and then just take a banner out place a banner place your staircase on top of the banner and now it looks like pillows and you can actually change your uh lines on your banners you can make it look completely different if you'd like to it's completely up to you with this one i just thought that actually looked really really good and like maybe some wooden trap doors on the side would look very nice as well for this one just to keep everything nice and slim looking like that boop and boop and like i said you can change your banners up use whatever color banners you want and i thought that looked really cool so thank you for that i'll also make sure to put up his picture from twitter so you can go ahead and see it as well all right guys second up on the list is going to be our versatile table like i said it's going to change up a little bit between better together and any other update pretty much <laughs> so basically what you want to start by doing is just digging down two blocks and then you're going to place a block right above that hole with a rail and a minecart once again next up we're going to drop down an armor stand right inside there and then place down an iron helmet or whatever helmet you want to use it really doesn't matter and then what i also like to do is i like to use a slab here this is just so the helmet doesn't become a darker grosser looking color so we're just going to take out a slab any slab will do let's go ahead and just use a stone slab and we're going to go ahead and just place it in our stone slab right above our armor stand just like that and then we're just going to put in a piston facing downwards into that stone slab so hopefully i can go ahead and just do it like this there we go perfect place another block send power to it pushing it into place break that block and that's basically the entire thing so now all you have to do is just place in your iron rod you can use whatever you would like though you can know you can use a wooden fence you can use cobblestone fence it's completely up to you in case depending on where you're putting this thing so maybe you want to put it in a log cabin so you'd want to use a wooden fence instead of an end rod i just like the end rod because it keeps it lit up as well and then you can pretty much just change it to whatever you want like i said this thing is versatile you could stick it wherever you want because it, it just you could just change the colors for everything if i want a diamond helmet for the bottom boom i can go ahead and change it to blue if i want to change the top of the table to something else you can go ahead and just go let's go with a yellow so you know <laughs> that's gonna look really weird but if that's what you want that's what you get <laughs> now on any other version that you can't use a minecart instead of using a minecart all you literally have to do is just place in a wooden trap door at the bottom and then place your armor stand on top of it and just repeat the same steps 
for the other one but that's the only difference you're just placing your armor stand on top of wooden trap door instead of putting it inside of a minecart and boop like that so just repeat all the steps after you place it on the wooden trap door next up we have our home entertainment system another very very easy one to build and this time you don't need to worry about any minecarts or things like that it should work out fine so we're going to start off with a two by three wall and then we're going to place a block on the top hand side with an iron trap door facing inwards. And then the same thing on the side, just break the block, go into sneak mode and place in your iron trap door facing that way. Then we're going to go off the back hand side, place in two levers, flip them down. And now they should be folded up in that nice motion. Next up, take out a painting and pick out a painting that you want by going into sneak and or crouch mode and placing in your painting. And I already got the one I wanted. I want the creeper right there. And then next up, right underneath it, we're going to break out two blocks and go ahead and place in just two trap doors like that. Now, I highly recommend using wooden and not iron because that's just overkill right there. But then we're going to take out an armor stand, place it down, place another armor stand facing inwards this way as well. Now, if you want the better together update, just go into sneak mode and click your armor stand once. That will make sure that your hands are down by their way so you can't see them. If you don't have arms, then you don't have to worry. Next up, place in your wither skeleton skulls right on top of both of those armor stands. Place in two bookshelves off the sides with two pistons facing inwards towards those bookshelves. Next up, take out some redstone and just wrap it around like that right into the piston. Take out a lever, flip it down, and boom, there is your Xbox One, PS4, or stereo set, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> I also like to sometimes go like this so it kind of looks like there's speakers on the sides of it. If you go up here and place in two more wither skeleton skulls like this and like that, there we go. It kind of looks like a stereo system, right? It has like the speakers and then here's the bottom stereo system. There's how you make a little home entertainment system and if you want to as well, you could take out some wooden trap doors and place them right along the sides of them by flipping them up and that'll make it look a little bit better as well. But there you guys have it. Next up, we have the working cupboard. So if I come in here, I can go ahead and access it. And when a few little armor stands kind of look like little boxes of whatnot inside of our cupboard. Another very, very easy one to build. Actually, I should probably maybe grab that. Stay, I'll get it later. <laughs> so getting started on our cupboard's really easy. First, you have to just find a wall. So let's pretend this is the wall of my house. And this is where I want to put my cupboard down. So we're going to start off by digging down two blocks and placing some soul sand down there inside those blocks. Next up, place a block. We're going to be doing the same thing we did with the uh, couch. We're just going to be using a rail and a minecart, and we're going to place that rail on top of the minecart, pushing it down into place. So let me go ahead and quickly get out a rail. I almost forgot where they were for a second, so there they are. We're going to just get grab that rail, and then just place it on top of the block. Place in our minecart, and let our minecart fall into place. Same thing on this side. Block, rail, minecart, let it fall into place. Then we're going to come to the backhand side of our cupboard, and then we're going to place in our two armor stands, and that's where our mob heads are going to be going. Next up, we're going to take out the color of staircase that we want for the inside of our cupboard. I'm going to go ahead with birch. You can use whatever color you want. It's completely up to you. I'm just going to place in a birch stair right here, a birch stair right here, and we're just going to push that into place with a piston. So piston faced inwards on this side as well, piston faced inwards, and then go ahead and just send power to those pistons, pushing those staircases into place. Next up, we're going to place in two more staircases right above those, one and two. Then we're going to place some bookshelves right behind it. And then right here, we're going to place two bookshelves on the sides. Well, it could be whatever block. You won't be able to see those ones. And then we're going to go ahead and do the same minecart trick once again. We're going to place a block here, rail. But this time, instead of using a minecart, we're going to go ahead and take out a minecart with a chest. So minecart with a chest, take that out. Let's go ahead and replace our minecart. We no longer need that. And let it fall into place. Perfect. Same thing on this side. Block up, rail, minecart with a chest, break it, let it fall into place. And there we go. Next up, we're going to place in four bookshelves from back here or you know two bookshelves and then whatever you want on this side we're just going to place four blocks like that and then we're going to go ahead and push it in the place with a piston so piston here and we're going to need a piston on this side as well and then just go ahead and send power to those pistons so one two there we go and now you're completely done so now all we have to do is just clean up this little top area of our wall and then we can go ahead and change the color of our flooring as well i'm just going to change the birch why not there we go there we go and then just take out whatever color of door you want as well so i'm going to place my door in Place another door in right here and there we have it there is our working cupboard boom and then i also almost forgot we can go ahead and add those mob heads in so it kind of looks like boxes of cereal or something inside of there so let's go ahead and place in our mob heads right down here as well so boom and boom there we go so working cupboard guys next up we have our simple soda fountain right here or you could change it to a coffee maker as well but we're going to start this off by placing in our wall where we want this thing to go so right here is where i want mine to go and then we're going to just break down one block and then we're going to be placing in a slab right here. So let's go ahead and quickly take out a slab. I'm going to go and grab a stone slab and place it in just like that. 
Then we're gonna come out a three rails from here. One, two, and three. And we're gonna go ahead and place in a mine cart right here. Now on, uh, like I said, on any other version, you don't need to do this. You can just place in your armor stand right off of the block and you should be absolutely fine just by placing them backwards like that. But since I'm on the better together update right now, I'm just gonna place it in like this. Then I'm gonna take my mine cart and just push it right into it and let it fall into place just like that but like i said if you're on any pretty much any other one you don't have to worry about doing that <laughs> next up we're going to go ahead and take out a cauldron and place a cauldron right above said armor stand with water inside of it and then we're going to place a piston right above that cauldron and we're going to go ahead and push that cauldron downwards into place right above that piston so right here go send power to it Boop. and then we're going to go ahead right above this cauldron we're going to go ahead and place in a staircase upside down i like to use a stone brick staircase you can use whatever color you want it's completely up to you but i'm gonna go ahead and do a stone brick upside down send power and there we go now all we have to do is just add our leather cap with color so we're gonna place in a cauldron add some water go ahead and grab some dye and throw it into that cauldron so we could change the color of our leather cap i'm gonna go ahead and do let's go yellow that, that sounds like fun yellow <laughs> so let's change it to yellow that actually looks like <laughs> I, that, I don't like that color okay but whatever let's go let's just roll with it <laughs> boom add it to our thing and there is our soda fountain now if you don't want to see the wooden part of the armor stand it actually looks kind of cool to, to me in my opinion kind of looks like that back half of the fountain but if you don't want to see that just break out this block right here break out that block right there and then just push it once Boop. and now you will no longer see it on xbox you shouldn't barely see the armor stand anyway, and if you want to not see it, all you have to do is just push a minecart into the armor stand, and it will push it out of the way. Like I said, you don't need the minecart or anything like that on other versions. Only the Better Together update really needs that minecart. Now, to build the coffee maker, I just quickly went ahead and broke everything because we're going to be doing a few little different things here and there. Now, if you are on any other version besides the Better, up, Better Together update where you don't have to use the minecart, like <laughs> you're going to be doing this a lot, guys. I'm sorry, but that's just how it is. Uh, you're going to be using a daylight sensor. You're going to be placing a daylight sensor down here if you're not doing this on the Better Together update. And then just going to place in your armor stand right off that daylight sensor backwards like we've been doing this entire time. So, you know, just take your armor stand, place it in backwards. And that's how it should go and you shouldn't do that but <laughs> you can change it yes now if you are on the better together update like i am right now you're gonna go ahead and take out a wooden trap door and just gonna place a wooden trap door down like that then we're just gonna place in our minecart by placing in a block rail minecart drop it in the place take out our armor stand then placing your armor stand backwards from back here into it like that and then we're gonna go ahead and place in an iron helmet right on top of that armor stand so boop iron helmet like there we go and then place it right on top of it like so now we're gonna go ahead and just choose any color block we really want to it doesn't really matter I'm gonna go ahead with a white concrete block though there we go and we're just gonna push this white concrete block right into the armor stand if you are on anything besides the better together update make sure you push in the block from the top make sure you push it from the top not the bottom because or else it will push your armor stand and you don't want that to happen also if you're on the better together update just click it once to get rid of the hands Next up, we're going to go ahead and pick out our color for our coffee maker. I'm going to go ahead and do, let's do nether brick. I feel like doing nether brick for it this time. So let's go nether brick right here. Switch that bad boy out right there. There we go. And place that in and push it down. And boom, there is a cool little coffee maker just like that. And if you want to, I also like changing it to a wither skeleton skull as well. Because uh, when you have a fully brewed cup of coffee, it well pot of coffee it's usually black it's usually pitch black <laughs> so you can go ahead and do that as well and i just gave it one of my staircases but that's how you build a soda fountain and or a coffee maker all right guys next up is going to be this cash register right here and i really don't need to move for this one i don't think you know just place in a banner place in your staircase right above it and then just place in a picture frame off the bottom portion of it and there you guys have it that's how you build the cash register and of course you want to hide this stuff over here so you know boom boom cash register done <laughs> and actually i don't think i did i show how to build this along with the uh i don't think i did i don't think i showed how to build it i mean you really don't need it it's the same thing guys you just just gotta push the uh mine the blocks into the mine cart and then you'll be completely done it, you can see the mine cart right there on the side that's all you're doing you're just pushing blocks into the mine cart so you can no longer see them and you'll be able to access them it, it's not it's not that bad next up we're gonna go ahead and build this little armor stand get up 
right here so to get started with this one all you have to do is just dig down two blocks place in two blocks of soul sand like i said if you are not on the better together update on any other version just use normal blocks guys you don't you know just use the normal grass blocks you don't have to use the soul sand blocks because you're not using the mine carts so next up we're just going to need a rail and a mine cart we're going to place that right above it so let's place a block any block will do it doesn't really matter rail mine cart break it let it fall into place same thing on this side block rail minecart let it fall into place if you're not doing this like i said just don't use them <laughs> next up we're going to place our armor stands right above that now so let's just place two blocks like this two armor stands and boop boop if you're on the better together update make sure you just go into sneak mode and put your arms down on your sides and then we're going to go ahead and place in our mob heads right above those Next up, we're going to take out our soul sand blocks once again. Place two soul sand blocks right above it. If you are not using the minecarts, like I said, just use two regular blocks, guys. Just use two dirt blocks or something like that. It really doesn't matter what kind of block it is. Just don't use soul sand. And we're just going to place two pistons facing downwards into these soul sand blocks. So one and two. And then we're just going to go ahead and send power to those pistons. One, two. Place two more blocks right above those and send power to them once again. And then go ahead and break these blocks right here. So break it and break it like that. And now we're going to go ahead and just place in our minecarts once again, like so. So we're just going to place a block here, minecart, let it fall into place. Uh, if you, like I said, just drop your normal armor stand on there if you're not on the Better Together update, but I am. So boop and boop and let it fall into place just like so. And then we're going to place blocks right above those. One, two, like this. Place in two more armor stands right above that. One, two, let it fall into place and make sure you change your armor stands so the arms are down on their sides. There we go and then go ahead and just choose your mob heads i noticed that i used two creepers there i'm just trying to do it real quick guys i, I don't i don't need to change up anything or oh sorry <laughs> i went ahead and changed my armor stance let me go through these real quickly and there we go and next up what we're going to do now is just push staircases into both of these guys so i'm going to be using acacia wood staircases i want to place two there and then place two pistons facing downwards into your staircase so whatever color you're using it's completely up to you so there we go and there we go now i'm just going to send power to him really quickly so boop, boop place in two more right on top of these guys make sure you don't accidentally put it into their hand as well if you are on the better together update so just like go off from the sides and then also we're going to need a set of slabs that match the same color as our staircase so i'm going to go ahead and choose my acacia wood slabs right here i'm going to place it right here see i just put it in his hand we don't want, you don't want to do that because actually it's, it's a pain in the butt to get it out of his hand once it's in there so let's see if i can just quickly take that acacia slab from you give me not your head i want your slab give me the slab right there the slab give me there we go <laughs> so you guys have it very very simple and then if you like i said if you're doing it on any other version besides uh the better character update you won't see those mine carts right there and it should look a lot better all right guys next up we have my little derp lamp thing that's what i like to call it here uh, it's not hard to make at all as you can see it doesn't take a genius to do this one maybe a villager can't do it but all you need to do is just place in a block and then place in your uh mob head whatever mob head you want if you want to see it then that's fine i normally like to place them backwards so i can't see it and then place your iron rod right underneath him boop there you go and then if you want to, you place a little laptop right next to it as well. Oh, yeah, that's right. Big paintings. <laughs> there we go. And then have a nice little laptop right next to it. Perfect. Next up on the list is going to be our monster underneath the bed. Very easy. This is going to change depending on what you are on. Like I said, we're going to be doing the whole, wow, what, what happened here? <laughs> I don't remember doing any of this. But it's going to change depending on what version you are playing on. So let me go ahead and just quickly put some blocks in here. I might, I, oh yeah, that's right. The other bed used to be here. Duh. That's why it's like that. But basically what you want to do is just dig down two blocks. And then we're going to place in a wooden trap door. And then what we're going to do is just drop in our minecart with a rail right on top of it. And let it fall into place. Take out our armor stand. Let that fall into place. And then place your mob head right on top of it. Next up, what you're going to do is go ahead and quickly push in a slab right above them. So I'm going to go quickly put that there. And then I'm going to take out a redstone block. No, I don't actually don't want to get rid of that. I want to get rid of my mine cart and take that redstone block right there. And then just send power to it. There we go. Place in another slab right here. Place another slab right here. Take out my bed and then place it right above my creeper. Now, if you want it to look a little closer like I did over here, all you have to do is come back here. Break out a few more blocks. Get right under there. And then what I like to do is break one more block in front of it. Break another block behind it, place in another wooden trap door right there, and then just push it a tiny bit. Just push it a little bit. Don't push it too much. Come Then come back up here and see where it is. And as you can see, I pushed it way, way too much. Now he's too far out. So I'm going to break down here, push him back a little bit more. And that's, that's pretty good. 
I like that. That's not that bad. Then we go ahead and just place this back in place. There we go. And there's our monster underneath the bed. Now, if you were playing on any other version, <laughs> any other version besides a better together update, you don't need the minecart or anything like that. All you need to do is just put in a daylight sensor. Daylight sensor, because uh, I pretty much found out that a wooden trapdoor and a minecart make up pretty much the size of a daylight sensor. So, you know, place two daylight sensors. And then if you want to push it around, just use a minecart that tends to push armor stands around. And then, you know, just place your armor stand right on top of the daylight sensor with your creep right on top of it. <laughs> All right, guys. So that is the monster one. And then last but not least, I'm sure you really don't need a tutorial for it. And I don't know why that is broken up there, but it's really, really annoying me. But just make fluorescent light bulbs with some end rods. You know, it's very simple. The end rods already look like fluorescent light bulbs. So, you know, you could place it in a kitchen. You could place it in a warehouse. Anywhere that you would think there would be fluorescent light bulbs, you can use that for it. So uh, you can also use, you know, wooden trap doors. You can change it to whatever you want. You don't even have to have anything there. You can just see the bulbs themselves. So there we go. Boop, 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 boop. And there is our wooden. And there's our fluorescent light bulbs with wooden trap doors instead of iron. All right, guys. So that's the end of the video. So you're complete. Now you can leave the video if you want to. But I said if I get through it at the end, I'll show why armor stands are so wompy on the better together update. You might be like, oh, I could easily do all this stuff. But the problem is it doesn't show. It, the problem doesn't arise until you leave the chunk. Once you leave the chunk that you put your armor stand on and if you phased it into anything, well, you're about to see. So if I, let's say I place uh, some staircases into that armor stand right there. So let me place in my piston like that. There we go. Send power to the piston. Place in another staircase right above that one and send power to a boop. There we go. Because uh, a lot of decorations have to do with like pushing armor stands into things because they can make some crazy looking designs. As you can see right here, there's a ton of things you can do with this and see the way it looks right now. See the way it looks once we leave the chunk area. So once it disappears out of my view. So I can't see the armor stand anymore. We left the chunk. Once I come back, look where it is now. That is a huge problem, and they really, really need to fix that. Uh, for anyone who does designs and makes their house look awesome, that is really bad. <laughs> but it, no matter which way you push the blocks into it, it will always fall out of the area it was originally put into but there you guys have it. that's how you build 10 awesome designs inside of minecraft if you enjoyed the video make sure to hit that like button and if you haven't already subscribe stay tuned with my newest videos all right guys peace